welcome Liz to Parenting. Now we have Ola Bisioni. Now she's the CEO of Luxury Bridal Errands uh, and founder of Value Added Parenting. On Parenting Today, she's joined us to talk about developing family values. You are welcome. Thank you. Always a pleasure to see you here, Bisi. Now, valued parenting. Let's talk about that. How much value can we add on as parents um, in our mode of parenting? Actually, a lot of values. Because um, you are like um, God puts you in child. Mm. You are like a caretaker. That God gives you this. You know, children's brain is like empty sponge. Mm. That's when you soak in the water, it soaks, soaks a lot. It so it's, they come with this empty brain. And it's whatever you feel. Mm. That's what the outcome people are going to see in the future. So that's why parents have to be intentional, deliberate. You know, the way you live your life when you were single or without the children, when they start coming, you have to, you know, you, you have to sacrifice some things, a lot of things. Like, there are some things you do before. When they are coming, you know the kind of children you want to raise. That's where the values, um, the um, family values comes in. Okay, so the values is something that guides you, your partner, and your mm -hmm. children. So the kind of people you want to be and the kind of life you want to live. Mm -hmm. And for... Before you can talk about values, you have to ask yourself some questions. What is important to you? What is important to your partner? Because I believe they were raised in a different background. Totally different. They have different yeah. motives, different perspective, and you are coming together. You are coming together. You are coming together to raise children. It means you have to agree on some things so you don't confuse the child. You know, mm. that's why the Bible says that. Can two work together except they agree? So they have to set to that. What's important to you as my wife, or if they are parents already, what's important to you? Then they find a common ground. Okay, let's choose this. Let's work mm. with this. So, so these values we're talking about here, what exactly are the tenets? Are we talking about wealth? Are we talking about health? Are we talking about passion? Uh, because that is also what this agreement has to be about. Are we going to raise our kids based on uh, su succeeding or trying to succeed? What kind of values, ex especially, uh, particularly, are we referring to here? So it's, it's still buttressed to the parents because what is my values of my family values might be different because we are different and we reason in a different way. Secular people, what might be their value might be different from white. But some of the values that every parent must imbibe is like being kind. Mm. And when you have that in your family, it's not enough telling children that you have to be kind. You have to do it as parents. Mm. In fact, you don't tell children what to do. You do it and do it. Let's borrow from you. Let's borrow from you. What, what values have you raised your kids on? Okay, like peaceful. We are mm. peaceful in my family. Nice. I love peace. My husband loves peace. You cannot find us where there is kata, kata. arguments or something. <laughs> we, we've never been argued. Next month, my marriage will be six years. We've ah. never fought over anything. If we notice that this um, discussion is going to lead to an argument, is either I stopped or my husband stopped, then we come um, Back again. to hit. Yeah. And so my first son actually knows that, that, okay, because he has watched us, he has seen us. But the second son that came, mm -hmm. like I talk about learning styles, is a yeah. kinesthetic, yeah. and he fights a lot. So yeah. <laughs> we are still working on how to help this child. This kind of family you have, we love peace. We but don't it, it fight. It goes back to what you said about the sponge. Children are sponges, and they're soaking up everything that you see. So you have to be intentional as a parent. Whatever it is that you're putting out there is what they're feeding on, and that's exactly how they're going to grow, yes. what they're going to grow into. Um, and this affects a whole lot of things for the kids, especially the older they get. Um, the kind of people they are, people they, the yes, relationship the kind of with people. Yeah. Tell us more about this. Yes, the kind of gathering you expose them to. And that's why parents, you have to be careful. See, parenting is not for one person. It's for both parties. So which means whatever the wife, the mother is agreeing on, the husband must do the same. Or else you'll confuse the child. Like we do, we discuss things, okay, this is how we want to do it. And that's what we put to them. Number one, the kind of gathering we, we go, we think about our children. The kind of school we put them, we think about it. Is it going to affect them mm. positively or negatively? Mm. Like sometimes I, I get home and my son says some words that I be like, you, 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 you didn't hear this from me or your yeah. dad. So is it that school? Or yeah. somewhere. I have a niece that's still with me. So she, she, she came to my house when she was 13. Mm. Definitely, she must have had some things and motives that is because I, I didn't raise her. Yeah. So it's either you hear it from her. So I ask question. 
where do you hear this kind of word? And she, he tells me, okay, is it that from school or that? And I tell him, this is our values. Mm. We, are, we speak kind words in this family. Mm. You don't just put anything so, in. So, so from what you're saying, there's so much a parent can do, but there are other external factors, yes. forces that are also contributing to what a child learns or what he brings home. So how do you ward off all of this? You've already started saying, but how much more effort can you put into warding off these external you, uh, you, you, you factors? You pay attention to... You pay attention. Yes, pay attention. And you are deliberate about things. You know, when, when they, they talk now, you can't just ignore. Yeah. But paying attention is so difficult these days. When mommy comes back at nine, daddy is back at ten, or even when they are back, they're too tired to even pay attention to the kids. Like they're being raised say, by the nanny. You know... Like I do say... These family values, you know, you, you are career parents, you mm. have things you're doing, script it. Mm. So when you employ a nanny, this is how explain, we this is how this, this children or this child is a royalty, is a king. Mm. So you have to treat him as such. You have to respect him. Because you are, if you're talking to a president, there is a way you relate, there is mm. a way you... So you, you explain these, um, your values. And you have notice board in your child's room, in your room, paste it, let everybody see it in mm. your house. It is your house, for God's sake. Mm. Even if the children can read, when grandma comes, explain how you, it's your home. Yeah. It's just like a company. You know who you want to be. You know how, how you want people to view your family out there. It's just like TVC. Mm. Whether the, own, uh, the CEO or the founder is there or not, everything is running because there is a system. Yeah. That is the way family should be run. There should be a system. Whether you're a career parent or not, that is not an excuse. Script things. Work mm -hmm. with your partner. Except if you're a single mother. And if you're a single parent, you can still work things out that whether you're there or not, it is running. Mm -hmm. You explain to your maid, whichever, whoever is coming to stay with you or to spend something. Yeah. I, I think you just hit it on the head there. Paying attention. Make sure it's deliberate. Often you have Deliberate. to even script these Deliberate. down for everybody. And, you know, that attention bit is, is the one that I'm taking home with me, paying attention to the kids. Thank you very much, Missy, for coming once again. I always love it when you're here. And thank you very much for joining us out there. I hope you've taken something uh, home with you and maybe even use it today. Do stay tuned. We have more coming your way. I'm wondering what's happening in the kitchen. We're going to get to find out exactly what they're doing in there. But let's take a short break first.